Sean Diddy Combs. Sean Diddy Combs. Sean Diddy Combs. We're told this is part of a federal investigation into human trafficking. Diddy keeps bringing the drama, and it truly seems like it will never end. He continues to be targeted by both the media and the police. Word on the street for several months now is that he's involved in an unsavory mess of accusations and the cops have gone full throttle on finally getting him locked behind bars. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami homes reportedly raided by Homeland Security. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. Diddy's homes raided by cops. Homeland Security agents conducted raids on the residents of rapper Diddy in Los Angeles and Miami as part of an ongoing investigation into <laughs> despite facing numerous <laughs> harassment and lawsuits. The rapper was absent as agents meticulously searched his properties on Monday afternoon. A perimeter was established by law enforcement around the Los Angeles residence situated in the affluent Homeby Hills neighborhood near Beverly Hills, where at least two individuals were detained and placed in handcuffs. HSI agents were on site in the 200 block of the wealthy area of Los Angeles, famous for housing celebrities as well as the Playboy Mansion. The address is known to be connected with Diddy's production company, Bad Boy Films. Armed agents affiliated with the Department of Homeland Security conducted operations at upscale properties spanning both the east and west coast of the United States, as captured by video footage depicting helicopters circling overhead. A law enforcement officer was observed transporting a bag of evidence to a waiting van. Homeland Security expert Hal Kempfer, speaking with Fox 11, suggested that the agency is likely investigating allegations of of Combs drugging young women across multiple states. Kempfer further noted that Homeland Security is seeking evidence such as laptops and flash drives that could potentially link Combs to the allegations. Reports indicate that investigators from the Southern District of New York have interviewed four Jane Doe's and one John Doe as part of an alleged trafficking and RICO case. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with the assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners, Homeland Security said in a statement. We will provide further information as it becomes available. The investigation emerged four months after a lawsuit was filed by former bad boy singer Cassie Ventura against Diddy, alleging <laughs> and years of sustained physical abuse. Combs reached a settlement with Ventura just one day after the lawsuit was filed. Diddy's son arrested in connection to police raid. Justin Combs, the 29-year-old son of rapper Diddy, has been spared jail time in his DUI case and has been sentenced to three years of probation instead. The actor, the eldest son of the 53-year-old rapper, was apprehended in connection with a DUI incident near Beverly Hills in June. According to police-revealed legal documents, The Catfish, the TV show star, entered a plea of no contest to having a blood alcohol content of 0.0 percent or higher. Additionally, the charge of operating a vehicle while under the influence was dropped, as indicated by the documents. Justin will be required to enroll and participate in, and successfully complete, a three-month licensed first offender alcohol and other drug education and counseling program as a condition of his probation. According to TMZ, police reported that Justin was observed running a red light by a police officer and was subsequently pulled over around 8 a.m. for the DUI arrest. An image published by the outlet depicted Justin conversing with a police officer. Law enforcement informed TMZ that the officer had stopped the vehicle Justin was operating and identified him as the driver. Following the stop, the officer concluded that there was probable cause to arrest Justin, who was then taken into custody on suspicion of driving under the influence. Justin was subsequently booked on a misdemeanor DUI with his bond set at $5,000. 
Following his arrest, Justin's mother Hilton appeared to react in a series of posts to her Instagram story. I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son and all the children, she wrote. Act bad, bad boy. I used to want to be a bad girl. I chose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I am intentional. She went on, a reference to Diddy's single Act Bad with the City Girls and Fabulous. I should have kept my children with me, she added. Diddy escapes raid in private jet. Diddy's private jet has been located on the Caribbean island of Antigua, coinciding with the raids on his residence in Los Angeles and Miami. The 54-year-old rapper's personal Gulfstream 5 jet was grounded on the island as reported by TMZ. There is currently no confirmation on whether Diddy himself was aboard the aircraft when it departed from Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles at 9 a.m. on Monday. Later that day, around 3 p.m. Pacific time, Diddy was sighted at the Miami Opelaka Executive Airport shortly after the raids commenced. Witnesses observed the rapper and music mogul pacing around the customs office at the airport, though there were no indications of him being detained in any manner. Reportedly, Diddy was waiting for members of his party who were being questioned by federal officials. When the authorities arrived, he was said to be in the process of boarding a separate private jet in Opelaka. And while the plane is said to be currently grounded in Antigua, official flight data has not yet recorded Diddy's landing. Rappers react to Diddy's house raid. A major move like Diddy's houses getting busted by the feds is sure going to spark commentary on the situation. Following Diddy's house raids, a few rappers came out to share their own opinions on Diddy, and they didn't hold back. 50 Cent wasted zero time chiming in on Diddy after he caught wind of the news. He hopped on his Instagram, where he made a post showing an image of Diddy's son getting arrested and captioned it, just got real. The feds in all cribs. Damn, they got the kids in cuffs. In another Instagram post, he posted an image of the feds raiding Diddy's homes and wrote a caption that read, Now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they have a case. As bad news continues to follow Diddy, so does commentary from 50 Cent. Lil Rod, who played an active role in Puff Daddy's latest album, The Love Album, Off The Grid, had recently filed a lawsuit against his collaborator, seeking $30 million in damages. Among the accusations leveled against Diddy, Rod alleges harassment, drugging of both himself and women, threats, and various other offenses. One especially peculiar claim is that he was compelled to work in the mogul's bathroom while Puff Daddy showered naked. 50 Cent caught wind of this and added in some jokes as he has throughout the past few months. Aw, sh I'm on the floor dead. Somebody bring me back to life, 50 wrote in a now-deleted Instagram post, which included a screenshot of an article describing the lawsuit. 50 Cent also posted photos of Diddy with Rick Ross and Floyd Mayweather, where it looked like they were about to kiss. Maybe this is a big misunderstanding, he wrote. I just don't go to the man's parties. This is just not my kind of vibe. Given the ongoing situation involving Diddy and law enforcement, WAC 100 